Hey boys and girls, Mr. Carter here, ready to do Homelink 4.3. So go ahead and put your name on this if you haven't yet already. And let's begin. All right, so we are talking about partitioning rectangles to help us multiply today. Um, so they give us an example here, and our example is 5 times 72. So what that looks like, partitioned rectangle, is you draw a rectangle, and then you split it here, and then you put your 5 on the side over here, and then you break up your 72 into 70 and 2. And then what you do is then you just work out each multiplication fact here in each box. So 70 times 5, that's an extended fact, so you go 7 times 5 is 35, and you add your 0 in for 350. Then you have you your second box over here, you go 2 times 5 is 10. So then what you do on the side over here is you take your box and you um, add them together, your boxes and you add them together. So you have 350 plus 10 for an answer of 360. What this 72 is down here is just showing that the whole rectangle is equal to 72. So that's just an extra number there and it really doesn't help you solve the problem, but it's just here to tell you that it's 70. Two, the whole rectangle. So let's do question one. So it's four times 35. So you go ahead and make your rectangle, like so. And then you put your four here on the side. Then you take your 35 and you break it apart into 30 and five. So then you just go 30 times five. So three times four is 12 and you add your zero. And you take your 5 times 4 and you put it here. 5 times 4 is 20. And what you do is you just add your boxes together. So you go 120 plus 20. Whoops, I should slide my paper here over. 120 plus 20 is 140. So our answer for this problem is 140. Okay. So let's take a look at number 2. So number two is six times 83. So you, again, you make your rectangle, okay? And then you put your six on the side, and you take your rectangle, you break it in half, and then you split this into 80 and three. So you got 80 and three for a total of 83. So you just do your uh, facts here, 80 times six. Six times eight is 48. And then you add your zero, because it's an extended fact, for 480. Then you go three times six is 18. So then you take your two numbers and you add them together. So you go 480 from that box there, and you add 18 from that box there. And you go eight plus zero is eight, eight plus one is nine, and four. So our answer here is 400. And 98. Okay, so now we've got 9 times 49. So again, you make your rectangle. Put your 9 here on the side. Partition your rectangle here. And you have to break this apart into numbers that are easy to multiply by, which is 40 and 9. 40 times 9, so 4 times 9 is 36. And then you add your zero for your extended fact for 360. Nine times nine is 81. Then you just add your two uh, boxes here together. So it's 360 plus 81. Zero plus one is one. Six plus eight is 14. Okay, one. Two plus one is four for an answer of 441. Okay, let's go ahead and do the review, which is a review of adding and subtracting. So I just took our numbers and wrote them on a separate paper here to stack them up. So it's easier for me to add and subtract. So I'm going to do 4 or 5 for you, and I'll have you do 6 and 7 on your own. So 9 plus 6 is 15. Carry the 1. 8 plus 1 plus 7 is 16. Carry the 1. 4 plus 2 plus... 1 is 7, 9 plus 1 is 10. So our answer is 10,000.
765. So if we go ahead and put that here, 10,765. All right, let's do number five. So we are subtracting. We're um, got to do three, and we've got to take away seven. We are not able to do that, so we need to go over and trade. We can't trade with our tens because there's none there. So we've got to go to our hundreds. So we're going to take our five and trade it here with our tens for ten tens. And now we're able to trade those one of those uh, over here for our one. So we're going to go look at that nine. Now this becomes thirteen. Thirteen take away seven is six. Nine take away four is five. Four take away five. We are not able to do that, so we got to go now here to our thousands to trade. We're going to take a one away from the six. That will be five. Now we're going to add our ten hundreds to the four that we already have. That will make it fourteen. Fourteen take away five is nine. Five take away three is two. So our answer is two thousand. 956. I'm going to go ahead and transfer my answer over here. 2,956. All right, that will do it for now. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to come and see me.